spread papers all around and uh, read the directions on the paint can. And it says to uh, shake for a minute after the ball starts going around. I've been shaking for about 20 seconds. I know what I forgot. Okay, now we're talking. It's almost sun down here, and it's just uh, the water tank is dry. I was trying to figure out how to get the frame built uh, for this and make sure I just have a nice, like, half scoop out of the wood. So I thought, well, I'll try this. I'll take a string and I'll start and go around this side until it hits the wood on the other side. Now, this should be the same on the other side if it's right at half scoop. So let me see if this is it. There's too much uh, in the board. Let's try that now. Do it again. I keep doing this until I get equal length of string. Oh, right there it is. I got it. So now I just have to take a uh, pencil and go around that, uh, go around the board down here and make a mark. And that's where I'll be cutting tomorrow. It's getting too dark now. The sun's almost down. Okay. I got the board marked for tomorrow. I don't know how well you can see it. I've got the light from the camera shining on a bit. Here's a one circle here, and then it's going to be cut this way, and then across this way to make the set. So this will actually be sitting on the bottom. And then for the other side, we got uh, it'll be cut across here and down this way, and then here's the circle. That's where the tank will sit, and. Uh, that's going to be the shallow end or the cold water end. This is going to be the hot end. It's taller and it's going to be up more so you need more bottom on your on your bell on your your support and that's going to be on this end. The hot water end. So at least we got that. And then I measured this out at uh, quite a bit this uh, tall end. Um, the end of the water heater is actually going to fit on those vegetable trays in there, if you remember. But um, I can move this panel up and down inside the cavity till it actually fits where the water tank is going to be for support. Um, if I need to cut it off, I can, but I'd rather start too long than too short. Well, I guess it for tonight. Time to feed the muggers. They're all lined up at the gate. <laughs> I did a little research on the web, um, finding out about combustion. For wood, I mean, you're going to have wood inside as your platform for your water box. And uh, here's what I found uh, overall. A temperature of 900 to 1200 is barely the ignition temperature of volatiles. And we're talking the volatiles that are coming out of your wood that converts into a burning substance. And a uh, temperature of 200 to 400 Fahrenheit are cool enough to stop any combustion reaction. And then the last note on here was temperature of a fire was uh, 900 to 1200. Well, and most volatiles, which is what burns in the wood, 
ignited a temperature raging for the 1000 to 1400. Well, I know we're not going to get 1000 to 1400. I know we're not going to get from 900 to 1200 in the box, but we darn well could get 200 to 400. I'm thinking in my hot water, in my uh, solar oven, I easily get 350 on a warm day. So 400 is definitely not out of range and 200 is definitely in range. Um, and down here there was another little note about sawdust uh, is between 400 and 500. So I've got to find out if that wood uh, is at peril if it gets up to 400 degrees. like it. 